Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome to my Periscope. I am seven minutes late starting up. So welcome on in, guys. We're talking kids. We're talking sloppy houses. We're talking when toddlers trash the place. So come on in as you're joining in, as you're joining, <laughs> say hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. And I don't know why it's freezing up. Hopefully it's not freezing up. Uh, we're moving. We're not talking. Do you hear me? I'm not sure what's going on. So anyway, guys, as you're joining in, let me know where you're coming in from. Let me know who you are what your name is. If you have a secret code name, give me your real name so I can address you properly. Welcome so much to my scopes. Welcome to the replay viewers as well. Uh, my name's Celia and I'm coming to you live from Baltimore, Maryland and here in the United States if you're from another country. And uh, hi, Bobby. Welcome. Glad to see you aboard. Hope all is great. Where are you calling them from? If you're new to my scopes, let me know that you're new. I am your family empowerment coach and here to help you with parenting your children and health, wellness, making your whole family healthy and a working unit all together. So in addition, as you're coming in, let me know if you have kids, what ages they are because I put out a post on Facebook recently that said, what was the biggest challenge you have with having a toddler in your home. And by far, people said the mess, that they're always trash in the house. So I thought, well, I should go on live on Periscope and talk about how you can get your toddler or your kids to stop trashing your house. You know, it's important to give them some jobs, some roles, a little responsibility, so that they are part of keeping your home clean just like you are always a part of it because we don't want to have to do it all by ourselves so anyway um another thing when you're coming in share it out whoops i dropped my water bottle share it out uh, my water bottle cap uh tap the screen for hearts i'd love to know what sections you're enjoying let me know that you're out there and i drink a lot of water when i broadcast and you should too because water is great for you hydration 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 great for you and your kids okay so not to waste any more time let's get on topic here so we're talking about getting your house clean and not having your kids trash it so first of all Regardless of the age of your child, some people think like I've been asked, what's a good age to have my kids start cleaning up the house? Guys, you can start at any age. Six month olds can put things in and take things out. As a matter of fact, toddlers love to put things in and take things out. Now you want to simplify it. And by that, I mean, you don't want to have like, okay, this thing goes in this drawer. This thing goes in this drawer. I mean, like, don't make it, don't overcomplicate the thing. Get some baskets or some buckets or some bins of some kind and let, or a toy box and let them start putting things into the toy box, the bucket, the bin, whatever it is you're using and let them put it in before they get things out to play with. When they're done one thing, they put it away. If you get them into this habit early, when they're one, when they're one and a half, then they will grow to keep it as a habit. So they'll get used to putting things in when they're done before they take things out. And just make it simple. Just have a few bins, a few toy boxes, a, whatever it is you have for them to put their things away in, start putting those things in a simple container. And then as they get older, once they're two, they're three, they're four, you can start separating things out to where they actually go and you ultimately want them. So... That's the first thing. Get them used to putting things away and train them to put things away 
after they're done using them. Don't wait till the whole house is trashed and then get, then get them to clean. That's overwhelming for anyone. It's overwhelming for you. It's overwhelming for your kids. So don't wait till the whole place is trashed. One thing at a time. Once they've taken something out and they're done, stop and get them to put it away. Now, there are certain songs out there that you can do. I highly recommend the Fun Fit Cleanup song. If you go onto YouTube and go to Fun Fit Family Fitness, you can find the cleanup song. Or if you go into iTunes and go to Fun Fit Family Fitness, you can also find the cleanup song. Great song, and the tune relates to anything. Pick up the balls, put them in the basket. Pick up the toys, put them in the basket. Pick up the laundry, put them in the basket. Pick up the dishes, put them in the sink. It relates to anything you're cleaning, and you can sing along. Or if you just like some fun music on, put some fun music on and it makes anything more fun. Now, if you have older kids, like my grandkids, we play the dice game. Can you see this? And there, this is in the Facebook group, Landmark Parenting. You should join Landmark Parenting. Hi, Douglas. How are you? Thanks for joining me. You should join Landmark Parenting. I'm going to pop up a screenshot of it if I can find my cursor. Okay, this is Landmark Parenting on Facebook. Join it. Lots of fun stuff going on. And you can find this easily in the files. Hey, Victor, how are you? Now, you can name this whatever you want. We have dust, vacuum, windows, kitchen floor, trash, free day. Nothing much, Vic Douglas. What's up with you? Hey, hey, Victor. How are you? Thanks for joining me, guys. Hello, hello, nephew, nephew Victor. <laughs> Good to see you guys on. Thank you. So join Landmark Parenting. This is in the file section, all right? And um, it's something you can, not too much, huh? How's the weather down there? Oh, you're welcome, Victor. My pleasure. Thank you for friending me. It's nice to be friends in a couple different places. Douglas, you can friend me too. Um, and thanks, guys, for being on the scope. I, I came on a little late tonight. I was supposed to come on at 9. You know, I'm so programmed to 9.30, I forget that I'm supposed to start at 9 o'clock. Anyway, I'm talking about the cleanup dice game. See the cleanup dice game? So this is a great, of course you, yeah, he calls me Tia Celia. He, all, he always calls me Tia. He does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a great game to play with bigger kids. You know, Victor, you can play with your friends. Get a big dice, roll the dice, and clean up the house. It works great, and kids love it. They love it. They love it. You can do it after school. You can do it whenever you want. You can do it in the morning. Get kids in the habit in the morning of making your beds. Do you guys make your beds? You know, I've, I've, been, I've been challenged at making my beds through my life, but I make my bed now because my husband messes it up. So I like to have it neat when I get there. Yep, only you guys. So you have to share me out so we get more people on. It is crazy. I agree. I agree. It's crazy. I get more people on the replay. Not sure. Not sure if I go should go back to 9:30. Do you think I should go back to 9:30? Seemed like more people were on at 9:30. So, you know, and we have this delay here. So, I don't know what, you know, from my end. Thank you for follow for inviting followers, Victor. I appreciate it. You are such a good helper. And I think I have to contact some of my old peeps and let them know that I'm on at nine o'clock. So I don't know. I don't know if it's because I backed up a half hour or what. And thank you for all the hearts. Oh, tap the screen. I love the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Douglas, are you still on? So um, anyway, every morning. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, that's good. I know. Um, yeah, that's my website. Website. Um, yeah, I used to, you know what? I was a terrible make my better. But now I do make it every morning. I like to make it. Did I make this? Did I make what? What did I make? This? 
My my uh, coach guy made it. My graphic artist made it. Is that what you're talking about, this thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Be specific as to what I made. Um, what I, I'm, I'm looking at, at the live broadcast because there's a delay with o, o, OBS. There's a delay. So anyway, but I thank you for the hearts. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're hearing, but anyway, I know you're hearing it's a, the delay is weird because I'm talking and you're hearing what I already talked about. So anyway, guys, how was your weekend? Oh, we got a third person on. Woo. -hoo! Who's on? Let me know your name so I can say hello. Myra. Hi, Myra. How are you? Glad you joined us. Another Brazilian. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am a teacher. I teach kids fitness. I do. I teach kids kids fitness. I have a fitness company for families called Fun Fit. And I teach classes every morning, almost every day of the week. I know your name is my <laughs> Oh yeah, you're laughing. That's because I saw your your extra person came came on and then I saw your name come up. I know. You're cracking me up. I know your name's Myra. <laughs> We have all the Brazilians on. I'm just showing them Brazil. Do you know that, Myra? Everybody's from Brazil. We're we're all in in Brazil. You know that? So, well, I'm not in Brazil, but you guys are. All three of you. Yes, all three of you are in Brazil. I don't know where in Brazil. Maybe you guys like live near each other. Thanks for the hearts. I know you guys will have to find out like where you live in Brazil to see if you're like near each other to see, you know, I, I don't know anything about Brazil being as I've never been there. So I don't know how close you could be. Uh, Brazil flag. Woo. <laughs> so anyway, any questions you guys have as we talk about the cleanup thing? Oh, I forgot to say that I'm here Monday through Friday at nine o'clock. So what do you guys think? Nine o'clock or nine thirty? Should I go back to nine thirty? What do you think? I'm looking at things. And tomorrow night I'll be on Perry Girls. I'll be on Periscope at eight o'clock with the Perry Girls, and then I'll be on again, maybe afterwards for my normal scope. Let's see. Yes, let's all eat Pachuca shoes. Oh yes, please, please, please. Let's all eat Pachuca shoes. Okay, I don't know what that says. Vaja do la do da tsunami. I don't know what that says. You have to you have to translate, Douglas. I mean, uh, Victor. I don't know what that says. You guys are, we're having a big delay here. I'm talking and you guys are like way behind me. Vosé. <laughs> so you guys just speak in Brazilian? In, Bra in Brazilian. In Portuguese? And then, could you talk? I am talking. I, am I talking? O gosto de pontuqueixo e muita bom. What does that mean? What did I just say? Sim. What did I just say? You guys have to tell me what I just said because we're kind of delayed. Thanks for the hearts. Tap the screen. Tap, 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 tap. We're kind of delayed. We're on a delay. See, I'm reading your comments and saying things, and then there's a delay. So I don't know. So you guys have to tell me what I'm saying in, in Portuguese because I don't know. So anyway, so do you guys have any questions for tonight from cleaning up? And Tom, good. I'm glad you guys are speaking. Hey, somebody else is on. We have four people on. I know. I. <laughs> you know, you think teaching at a, teaching my classes at a daycare at a daycare for 20 years when the woman who owns the day daycare speaks Portuguese, you think I would have learned more than Pancho Queixos and Abrogado. Those are like all the words I learned. You think I would have learned, and Tia, except that I thought Tia was love and Tia is aunt. So I actually didn't learn that word other than I know the word. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? 
I don't know why there's such a big delay tonight. There you go. It's Myra. Myra. Praise her. So who else is on? You know what, guys? There's a fourth person on. Who's on with us? We don't know. But we're talking about cleaning up your house. So we have this on Landmark Parenting. And you need to get your kids to clean up afterwards. So um, if you want to connect with me, this is where you connect with me. Can it be my... Of course. Because <laughs> if you can train your dog to put stuff away, absolutely. It's, it's a great, it's a great skill. And I'm pretty sure you can train a dog to put stuff away. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure you can train a dog to put stuff away. Guys, do you think, uh, oh, see, now you guys are talking <laughs> Portuguese. Do you think there's too much of a delay on here? I want to know your opinion of the delay that's going on tonight. Because I feel like it's a long delay. Do you guys see that delay or do you have that delay? What do you think about that? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until you uh, hear what I just said. <laughs> thank you for the hearts, guys. I really appreciate it. So replay viewers, thank you for being on. Oh, first super heart. Yay. Thanks, Myra. I love you. Thank you for the super heart. I know, you know what? I have to contact some of my old buddies that are usually on, like Perry and Bruce. I have to get in touch with Bruce because sometimes when he's not on, he's sick. So we have to make sure he's not sick. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. I don't know who else is on, who the fourth person is that's on. But, you know, what? then I get a lot of people to watch the replay. So I appreciate you replay viewers very much. So anyway, guys, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, I'm going to go on Periscope with the Perry girls. Um, it's like a pass this cast, but you'll get an alert. Hi, Jerry. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the scope. Um, and I'm going to talk about what Martin Luther King means to your kids. So a little thing, because we're all talking about Martin Luther King because it's Martin Luther King Day here in uh, the United States. Oh, yay, you fixed your fan. I'm so happy. I'm really so happy about that. That's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Myra, oh, a lot. Hmm. There's a lot of Portuguese on the screen that I can't read, but thank you for the hearts. <laughs> so anyway, so everybody on is from Brazil, although Jerry, I don't know where you are from. So let us know where you're calling in from, Jerry. And if it's Brazil, I'm going to be surprised. Actually, I won't be surprised because maybe you're friends with these people. So we're making friends in Brazil. So anyway, guys, catch me tomorrow night at 8 o'clock or somewhere between 8 and I think 8.30. I'll be on tomorrow night. Celia, do you want to? Yes, I do want to make a trip to Brazil so I can meet all you guys. I would love to make a trip to Brazil. Don't you think I should? I should come down and meet you guys in person. Oh, mwah. and I love Brazil. Of course, if I come to Brazil, are you guys going to make me pancho queijos? Because you know I love my pancho queijos, which I'm not saying correctly. Pau de queijo. Pau de queijo. I don't know. I wish you guys could say it so that I could <laughs> pronounce it correctly. But if I come down there, I want you to make me them. Okay, and I would love it. To have to send you a message when I'm coming to Brazil. Plus, you know, my friend here, she's from Brazil, so we could probably travel together. But I have to find out where you are. You guys, do you guys live close in Brazil? You need to eat. I do eat a kai. I do. I drink it. I drink a kai. I don't eat a kai. I drink it. I drink the juice. There you go. Okay, so now we got some geography going on here. Welcome, welcome, whoever else is on. We have a lot of people from Brazil on tonight, and there's a lot of Portuguese going on and a lot of conversation. And if you're already on and you're new to my scopes, let me know if you have a toddler and if, you, if you're challenged in getting them to clean up, because that's what we've been talking about, aside from all the Portuguese. Oh, Sao Paulo. Oh. And the Portuguese people are trying to see if they live close to each other. 
because we're all on here together. Anyone else from, from Brazil? Because if you're, let me know where you're calling in from if you're not from Brazil. <laughs> I have no idea what everybody's saying. I think they're trying to figure out where they all live. But we have some tips for cleaning up. This is good, and it's on the parent, uh, the um, Landmark Parenting Facebook page if you want to download it for your kids to help them clean. It's good to get kids to clean up right after and to start as young as you can to get them in the habit. And so there's a lot of Portuguese going on that I can't read. So anyway, guys, are you going to join me tomorrow night? I hope you join me tomorrow night. Do you know any Brazilian music? I know of some, but I'm not sure. Like, I, I, I've heard a lot of Brazilian music from being at that Brazilian daycare, which I taught my Funfit classes. Um, but I don't know who the bands are. That's all right. It's fine. Talk Portuguese. I love it. I love it. Don't apologize. Myra, you know, never apologize in my scopes. Never apologize. I, I so appreciate you guys being on here with me. I'm eternally grateful. Very grateful. So anyway, I hope it's not a really bad delay because I'm seeing your comments and I think my answers to your comments are being quite delayed. And I'm not quite sure why there's such a long delay on here tonight, but I hope it's not bothering anybody. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to get ready to sign off tonight. I thank you all very much for being on. I'm very grateful that you guys choose to spend the evening with me. And I hope this helped for the replay viewers and other people that join me live and helping your child clean up. Few things, get them to clean up right away. Make it simple. Just use bins. Don't make cleaning up so complicated. Just get them to put things away and out of the way into bins, a couple of bins or baskets. Good night, good night. And put on music, clean up song by Fun Fit, and use the dice game. And that'll get you guys all cleaned up. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. You was you were watching basketball. Go back to watching basketball. <laughs> a washing a basketball. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I'll be on early tomorrow night around 8, 8.15, 8.30. Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.